shall we talk about the pogo night party that I'm planning on YouTube and over on Instagram? If it's something you're interested in joining in, then stick around because it's gonna be a blast. Hi there, I'm Christine, the Gemini Stitcher, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So the vlog I'm doing today is going to be all about the Pogo Knit Party that I'm planning on YouTube and also over on Instagram. So what is the Pogo Knit? Well, it's a pullover that has been designed by Friday Pattern Company. I've made a twirl in the fleece, bright pink fleece, which I showed a few weeks back. And as a knock-on effect from that, I loved it so much, I wear it so much, that I thought, we need to all celebrate everything Pogo Nip in February. So February this year is a leap year. So there is a 29th of February. So the plan is that we're all going to make our Pogo Nips in February and then post them all over Instagram on the 29th to celebrate leap year. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick around and I'll give you loads more information. So let's start with the rules. Sounds a bit boring. There aren't many. It's pretty simple, really. So I'll bob the details up here and I'll talk through them with you. So the Pogo Knit Pullover, the first thing you need to do is go to Friday Pattern Company's website. I will put the details below so that you can just click on the link. It'll take you straight to the Pogo Knit Pattern and get your Pogo Knit Pattern ordered if you haven't done so already. Then it's start, time to start planning what fabric you're going to use. And when I've gone through all the rules, I'll be giving you a little bit of inspo about what I'm planning to make up in my pogo knit. So yeah, plan your fabrics. I'll be putting the link below to every supplier. A lot of them are fabric supplier prizes. So please go and have a look at their websites. All the links will be below. They have got some amazing fabrics that you can make the Pogo Nick up in. So go and give them a look. I'm doing a few different fabrics, I think. So we'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, decide on your fabric. Get the pattern. Make your Pogo Nick up. As many pogo nips as you like. If you want 10 pogo nips, you make 10. And then on the 29th of February, you need to post it on Instagram and use the hashtag pogo nip party. And also tag me into the post so that I don't end up not putting you into the draw for all the yummy prizes. So tag me at, at Gemini underscore Stitches and you will go into the draw on the 29th. Now, anybody is welcome to join in and post. However, unfortunately, because a lot of the prizes are fabrics and postage rates are crazy at the moment, to certain parts of the world we're restricting it to UK mainland only for the prizes so before we get into anything else I really want to say thank you to the other vloggers who have all agreed to take part in the Pogo Knit Party along with me they will be posting their ideas at the beginning of February and they will be doing a reveal vlog on the 29th and posting their results on Instagram as well so shall we go through the list of vloggers and then you don't miss any of them? Come on. So in no particular order, I'm looking at them in our chat group. So please bear with me if I look down. So I don't want to miss anybody out. But I will pop all the names with their 
Instagram link as well in the details and underneath. So let's get started. The first one, obviously, is me, Gemini Stitches. Then we've got Amelia from Amelia Ellen Sews. We've got Cara from So So Mad. We've got Judy from Running So and So. We've got Julie from Julie Sews Her Own Clothes. We've got Laura from So Very Laura. We've got another Laura from Specky Laura, who is the Specky Seamstress, who has kindly donated a gift as well. So thank you, Laura. We've got Liz, who's the baker that sews. We've got Michelle, who is the menopausal sewer. We've got Paige Joanna. And we've got Sam from Sequin Girly Creates. We've got another Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam. We've got The Little Walking Foot. We've got Emma from So Do It Emma. There's Rachel from Stitched Up. There's Tamlin from Sewn on the Tie. There's another Christine from Christine Sews A Lot. Last but not least, Leslie from The Sewing Circle. So I have been popping all the names up as I've been reading them out. And I will put the details of all their channels links in the details of this post. So if you're not subscribed to their channel yet, I strongly advise that you subscribe to them all and then you don't miss any of the amazing pogo nips that are going to be made up and get some inspiration for your own. So what inspiration have I got for you and what am I going to try to make? Because you know me, if you watch me, you know I always bite off more than I can chew. I've got a pile of, I'm looking over there because I've got a pile of fabrics and I'm looking at it thinking, you crazy woman. Might not make them all. And I think what I'm going to do is put a poll up. So please vote for the fabric that you think I should make my pole go nip up. So shall we have a look at what I've got in store? Come on. This is my first fabric. It is a look. It's a soft shell fabric with a lovely fluffy but belted, belted black interior and it's got oh, animal print all over it and I think this will look great as a pogo nip when I'm out walking the doggos if it's a bit shower because it's semi waterproof so that is my first idea for my pogo nip what do we think of the colours not bad so fabric number two is a French terry because I want something lighter weight for spring. But well, I do still like the poke on it. Look at this with these mushrooms up. I got this from Pound Fabrics. I've also got some white French terry, so I'm going to do a two tone poke on it for the spring. Quite like that. So that's idea number two. Idea number three is this bright sort of knit fabric. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but I'm sure it'll be fine as a pogo knit because pogo knit is meant for woven, really. But I think you can make it in knit as well. Yeah, so I'm thinking pogo knit. And it can be, I'm going to play around with the zigzags. I'll maybe do the bottom part that way and then the top part, whoops, that way around. I don't know what I'm going to do with the sleeves. But yeah, thinking of having a bit of a play around with this one. And then because it's wool and the pogo nip has an elastic cuff and I don't want it rubbing on my wrist, I did think, I did think 
What about using some coughing for the cuff on this one? And I've got that bright yellow. I think that one's a good one. So that's idea number three. Idea number four is a woven fabric. Oh, look at this. Now, I got this from Stitch Fabrics um, when they were at the Knitting and Stitch show in Harrogate. So, I think this would make a really good party version of the pogo knit. And it's a pogo knit party. So, maybe this is the one that I need to make. So, it's got silvers, golds, leopard print everything I love and it's reversible so on the back you get in a lilac leopard print or print on a black background so I could play around with both sides of that fabric to make a really different pogo nip I'm thinking I'm liking that one the best so they're my four ideas I'll put a pole in my community tab so with pictures so let me know which fabric you think I should make my pogo nipple pin and then we'll do the reveal on the 29th so we've gone through the rules you've seen my fabrics the last thing that I need to tell you about is the prizes or the presents because it's not a party without presents is it and we've got some great ones gifts that have been given. So let me grab my list and I'll run through them with you. I'll be popping up images as I go through this and I'm going to read them because there's so many I can't remember, which is fab. So first for fabrics, put the name at the bottom, are donating a £25 voucher, which is Brilliant. Little Legs Fabrics are donating a £20 voucher. Tuesday's Child are donating a £15 voucher. Soul Miss Sunshine are donating a £30 voucher. Ornella are doing a discount code. And when I get the code, I will put it in the details below and you'll see it all over Instagram. But they are definitely giving us a discount. Lamarzi Fabrics are donating a £20 voucher. The Specky Seamstress is making us up a £20 goodie bag of all her amazing, well, not all, some of her amazing products. And Minerva are giving us a whopping £50 worth, which is for two and a half metres of their exclusive French Terry for one lucky prize winner. Now, that's what I've got so far, and it's not even February yet. So stay, stay tuned. I will be posting on Instagram at Gemini Stitchers, Gemini underscore Stitchers. So give me a follow on Instagram and then you don't miss out on finding out what all the prizes are going to be. And I will go through the final run through of all the prizes on the 29th when I do my reveal. So we're all ready to party then. It's miserable outside. And I am, for one, I'm going to cheer myself up, make my pogo nips up and keep snuggly and warm in February and March because March isn't great either, is it? So before I go, we'll just do a little recap of what you need to do. Get the Friday Pattern Company pogo nip pullover pattern. Sell some yummy fabric and have a look at all the fabric companies who are sponsoring us and giving presents. Make your pogo nip up in the month of February 
And if you want to share your progress, then use the hashtag PogoNitPartyWhip. I'll be putting mine in there, so let's all share. And then on the 29th of February, post your mate, your pogo nip on Instagram. Use the hashtag, hashtag pogo nip party and tag me in at Gemini underscore stitches. And you'll go into the draw if you're in the mainland UK. Can't wait. I think I've waffled enough now. So... Enjoy making your pogo nips. Start putting them in the whips. Pogo, hashtag pogo nip whip. And then we can all see what you're up to. Because we all like having a nosy at what everybody else is making, don't we? And we'll do the reveal on the 29th. Let's fill Instagram with pogo nip pullovers on the 29th of February to celebrate Leap Year. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.